the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of October 25th to the 31st, 2021, as we get ready to finish up the month. I'm just cleansing the energy real quick. We're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to pull a message or two from the Halloween Oracle deck as we make our way to Halloween, and then um, one or two from the Green Witch Oracle deck, and then pull some tarot from the Gilded, okay? Um, and then I'm not going to close off with Oracle today or this week. Interesting, interestingly enough, hopefully like the setup that I have, if I could even say it, um, I did order a microphone for the channel. It ended up not being compatible with what I'm using to film, so I had to order another one. Just want to get these out for you as soon as possible, okay? For Leo for this upcoming week, for the 25th to the 31st. Okay, you two. Maybe remembering a lot this week, okay? But it's interesting because at the bottom of the um, deck, I haven't even shuffled with the King of Wands for the tarot deck. Um, very much a passionate week to say the least, okay? Now let's pull from this. So will kind of give us our main focus. I'm aiming for one, maybe two at most. Poor Leo for this upcoming week. Desire, okay. Divination that could be very much um, relevant to Halloween. That's what we're beginning with hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. A huge focus on whether you're comfortable in your home. Okay, let's clarify this. For this hearth card for Leo. Temperance. A lot of you need to have patience within your home life, whether it's noisy, you live with some energies that aren't easy for you. Um, the higher up and being pushed to adjust your daily routine, your perspective, you know, um, asking yourself uh, how you can adjust things without fully switching it up altogether if you feel like it's not time to, to move towards it. The King of Swords and the Ten of Cups feeling like you're reminded that your happily ever after is ahead. And, you know, you can make what you have work for you within your home life, especially if you work from home. It could be a bit difficult, but a lot of you needing to utilize your wisdom, your knowledge you've gained over time to make the best, to adjust things in your favor when need be, okay? And we're moving on to ancestors, the love and, uh, the love and legacy of our DNA. Let's see, what is this all about? Two of Wands. I'm gonna go with these. We've got the Page of Wands the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, that's a lot. So the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands, I feel like a lot of you are feeling quite anxious in a situation you're um, deciding to go back to, um, whether it's a relationship, a job, a situation um, outside of those two categories potentially, but either way, it's just leaving you a bit anxious and wanting more. Um, or it could be you sort of going back to something or thinking back to something as you long for more. You know, it could be you in your living situation not thriving and desiring uh, more and thinking back to another situation that worked out better in one way, shape, or form, okay? Um, or you could be thinking about how you can minimize your anxiety, that sort of stress, and um, within your work environment or your living situation or relationship, okay? But Six of Wands, feeling like you gain a lot of attention all the meanwhile, but finding it hard at certain points this week to not expect the worst, or to focus on what's not working out, okay? With the Knight of Cups, wanting to emotionally go after a fresh start, but it feeling like it's slow to get started, but for a reason. Again, I feel like a lot of you are going back to something, okay? Or thinking back to something um, and mulling over whether or not that was, you should have stayed with it, stuck with it. Um, the answer for a lot of you is if you're already about to move towards it, then yes, you're meant to go back to it, okay? If you haven't already began to at this point throughout the week, I don't feel like it. I feel like it's more of just a, uh, a thought process you're meant to go through, okay? I need to release uh, that thought of maybe going back to it if you haven't already began to. Um, if you feel as if you, again, are focusing on the, the negatives or what could go wrong, release that, okay? Be completely honest with yourself. But it's a huge focus this week on what you desire, on uh, what needs to change and be adjusted moving forward. If you desire something, then it can it can happen, okay? If you feel like it's a past relationship, then I feel like you may want to reconsider, okay? Let's continue and pull some main tarot for this. 
I, for whatever reason, feel like uh, eye contact is going to be a bit difficult for Leos this week. Very unlike us. For my lovely Leos to continue this weekly read for the 25th to the 31st, 2021. We're aiming for five or six, but we'll see what we get. It's almost as if it's a week where you passed your opportunity to relax that you didn't fully take, right? Or you may sort of want the opportunity or the chance to just chillax this week and you kind of already gave up that chance to, right? Or you already sort of had that moment too in the previous week or two. I don't know why I feel the need to say that. Okay, I'm going to go with these. Interesting how they were laid out. Four on the top and then two on the bottom. Um, so we're beginning with the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles. So we have the Ten of Cups that came out before, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. So a huge focus on completion, on making your way towards that happily ever after, okay? Uh, a lot of you thinking about how you want to be rich or how you want to sort of have enough money. You could be spending in a way that makes you feel as if you have more than you do. Does that make sense? So you could be overspending uh, or just buying uh, quality over quantity, expensive items. The High Priestess. I feel as if it's going to be a very spiritual week, whether you want it to be or not. You could find that you, oddly enough, are sort of floating through the week, especially in the beginning, feeling like people sort of look at you in a very angelic light. But the Three of Swords, it's as if you are coming off as if things aren't as heavy as they used to be, and I feel like they aren't for the most part. But there's a focus on you feeling a bit heartbroken for whatever reason. Why are Leo's feeling heartbroken this week? Something hasn't begun yet. Or maybe you thinking about a past loved one or a lot of you just wanting more love in your life in general, even if you're in a relationship. Feeling like things are improving and things are going to sort of fall into place. And I do see a lot of you having that um, intuitive feeling throughout the week. And recently you have been too. But it's just like, why do things still have to be a bit difficult? Or why does this fresh start uh, in one way, shape or form, maybe multiple fresh starts, have to take so long? Can we like speed things up a bit? Do you hear my the tone of my voice? It's a little bit kind of somber, a little bit emotional. Give yourself credit. Just because we're the lion, the, one of the strongest signs, doesn't mean we can't have our emotional moments. Damn, we do. The magician. For this, we have justice. You may be thinking about a Libra or wanting more. You might have strong Libra in your chart or want more justice in your life in one way, shape, or form for all the difficulties. With death, you could be thinking about a past situation where you did not get that level of justice and trying to, all the meanwhile, manifest what you desire, okay? Uh, with the sun, we have our energy uh, once again, feeling as if, um, or not once again, but either way, uh, feeling as if you just are thinking a lot about completion, about your happiness, about whether or not people, situations, or where you're at is making you happy. And if not, how can we move forward and adjust things but keeping in mind that the possibilities are endless. And how do we manifest what we desire? Okay. Uh, going back to that judgment card, I need to release any doubt or, or lack of hope. Okay. Expecting the worst. It's an old habit. Let's keep it in the past. Let's put it to rest. Okay. Bear with me as I put on some chapstick. I feel like this is this moment I'm having right now with the chapstick. Like, Don't be afraid to stop and do what you have to do to feel more comfortable throughout the week. It'll improve what you're trying to communicate or how you're coming off to other people. You don't want to be super uncomfortable, okay? I would have been super uncomfortable if I had dry lips the entire rest of the reading. Page of Cups again, but this time it's in the upright, okay? What do we have for Page of Cups? I do feel like a lot of Leos are dealing with some noise that puts them on edge, but you're just working around it, right? The Magician again. So it's back to back. A lot of you wanting to manifest something... Uh, but feeling a bit emotional the meanwhile, I think you're, it's due to your lack of sleep or your spiritual connection or the focus on the past. Spirit could be reminding you of the past in a lot of ways. Or you could find that you're trying to start fresh with something or move towards something fresh. And that's all you can sort of think about is the past. But a huge focus, this being aligned with the desire card. What do you desire? What, are your, what do you emotionally desire? Right? But how are you going to sort of go after it? Um, I don't, I'm not saying go back to it. 
How are you going to go after something in a fresh, new, uh, confident way, but sort of put your emotions aside, I want to say? With this three here, um, you'll see a lot of threes this week. A huge reminder of your spirituality, your spiritual connection for the good and for the bad, as well as the success you deserve moving forward, okay? The Ace of Swords, a lot of you feeling like you're manifesting something. Um, all the meanwhile, it's just not happening quick enough or it's just not happening in general and that leaving you a bit emotional, but feeling like things are starting to align and balance out I'm getting from the two seahorses here. Seeing a lot of butterflies this week for whatever reason. Very interesting reading. But we're moving on to the Nine of Pentacles. A huge focus on you throughout the week, reaching for your independence, doing what's right for you, thinking a lot about your career and your finances. Doesn't mean uh, love isn't on the mind, but for sure you are prioritizing your career and your success and your money. Six of Cups, whatever you're reaching for is reminding you of a lot from the past. All right, so you're starting a new job or going back to one or um, purchasing new things and all of which, or a lot of which is reminding you of past financial investments, past jobs, past past successes and failures. And it's just like, ooh, this is a lot. This is a lot to handle. And that could be part of why you're feeling emotional once again. Um, feeling like you're just trying to sort of release yourself from this cage of financial debt or financial uh, limitations. Or just, it feels like a lot of people in your life do expect you to succeed in one way, shape, or form. It could be more so you just are on top of all of which you expecting yourself to have this level of success within your career to be sort of financially stable or more than that. Wanting for a lot of you to sort of, a lot of you wanting to just be wealthy, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but it just feels like you have to sort of get a, a, a grasp on your emotions this week, right? Um, deal with it behind closed doors and then come back out and, you know, charge forth, you know, reach for your independence, do what you have to do. Um, sort of, I feel like your emotions could get in the way and make you a little bit um, less successful throughout the week if you allow for yourself not to do that healing or releasing of emotions behind closed doors, okay? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of pentacles on the board. Two of swords. So a lot of you feeling calm and confident. Again, this underlying focus, uh, underlying feeling of you being a bit emotional, but just feeling as if as you make your way through the week, you just have this blindfold on when it comes to you not knowing how things are meant to proceed, right? Um, feeling the universe isn't making things 100% clear, um, but they're not meant to. You're being told to sort of believe and keep that hope alive and being aligned with a um, magician just to manifest what you desire at this time. Don't sort of only want to manifest something if you know it's going to work out or if it's going to be perfect in the end. Does that make sense? Needing to sort of um, keep yourself moving forward towards what you deserve, knowing it's going to work out, not sort of uh, needing that clarification or that sort of crystal clear image of the future to, to keep moving. But I'm also getting now that a lot of you are presenting something, whether it's online for a business or a project or on social media, or maybe within your work environment. Maybe you're showing your loved ones your work that you've been sort of working on, or they're seeing it in a positive light. And it's sort of you feeling kind of overly serious, a bit uptight, but then people are just kind of complimenting you and seeing, thing, seeing the work you're producing or whatever you've been creating and being quite amazed by it. And you just being like, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. And that in itself might make you a little bit emotional. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. It's a week of hard work, okay? So don't be shy of it. I don't think you will be. It's just at times you might want to retract and sort of be in your own hermit mode because of your emotions. But with the Wheel of Fortune, things are moving quickly. Um, I don't know why I did not mean to say that. So perhaps they will be this week, but I feel like the wheel's turning for you. Things are happening. Progress is taking place. You're getting closer to what you desire at the end of the day. And I feel like there's a level of progression when it comes to a connection as well. Someone you don't expect. That could be friendship or love oriented. If you're single, I feel like it's gonna be the person you don't expect to sort of see things move forward with in a positive light. They step up, okay? The moon. So all the meanwhile, feeling like you're just putting in a lot of effort and it's towards the end of the week where I feel like you get this sort of uh, 
maybe a little bit of clarification, but it feels like there's a lot that you don't understand about what you're working towards, right? Or the future of your business, the future of your career, and leaving you a bit sort of somber all the meanwhile. It's like I, a lot of the Leo readings I've been doing recently have been sort of uh, reiterating that you're meant for infinite possibilities within career and love, and it's true. But it's like the end of October is a week for you to get yourself together. And please don't take that personally because I'm one too, so I get it. Uh, to sort of get your emotions under wraps, to prepare yourself for what lies ahead, to prepare yourself for an amazing next few months to wrap up the year, or a couple months, I guess, in that case. Um, but it feels like you, towards the end of the week, or just the week in general for some of you, where you don't need to release something just yet, okay? It's you not knowing enough to do so or being too emotional to make that decision, going back to the moon card, um, but needing to sort of, a huge focus on you wanting to take this leap of faith and being pushed to by the universe, whether it's career oriented or just um, a financial investment. Okay, it's going to make you, it's going to be more complicated in your life, but it's going to make you feel lighter again. I feel like full circle kind of feeling going right back to this um, high priestess, which we were talking about you feeling light and airy, sort of angelic. Very interesting. Um, but I do feel like it's a week where you need to sort of do what you have to do to prepare, to heal, to sort of uh, get those emotions out, to manifest what you desire. But release your grip all the meanwhile. It's this balance of doing all of which I just spoke upon, but going with the flow, okay? And releasing that beautiful lion grip as you manifest all you desire, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Leo.